Hello and welcome to uh, Intermission of the Four Kings. I don't really say chapter or something or other of the Four Kings, but this is an intermission. The hands in Anaskia have been overtaken by rebels, and their kings, laid on in terror, were driven out of the countries. The aggressive Bahans and rebels and their ambitious leader, Reiner, have aims to conquer the entire continent of Ibril. Meanwhile, the Askian rebels, led by Daltry, are hunting for Terrell, wanting to end the Askian royal bloodline for good. The armies nearly destroyed Mina's forest, but somehow Ava awakened Mina's spirit, who used her power to protect the group. Now the forest is enveloped in a great magical barrier, cutting the rebel armies off from one another. Seizing this opportunity, Terrell and the others head north to Mansa, hoping to meet with Sebastian. That's everything that's happened so far, King Sebastian. Unbelievable. Two rebellions at the exact same time? And Mina acting as she did. With the barrier up, the rebels will be forced to pass through either Mansa, Mansa or Teodros. If they make a move, they'll have both nations' armies attacking them. I imagine the rebels are aware of that, so they'll likely stay put for now to stockpile resources. Then let's strike back, mobilize whatever troops we have, and hit them hard before they have the time to bolster their forces. Ugh, Walter, you... Slow down, Walter. Taking back two whole countries will require careful planning. We can't rush these things. Though I do agree that taking a more offensive approach is a better idea. If we leave these rebels to their own devices for too long, they may become too powerful for us to defeat. Right now, the rebels must still be relatively weak and disorganized, so if we divide our forces properly, we should be able to take both of them both them on. Should be both of them on, I think, but if we only fought one of the armies, that would give the other too much time. Can we really afford to split up our forces like this though? The Mansa army is a formidable force, but even it lacks the manpower to fight two wars at the same time. We will also have to leave some troops here to defend the borders. Mansa will not be the only country fighting against these rebels. I am certain we can request aid from the Teodros army. Teodros? Pah. As if Chancellor Farrow would want to help us. He's a fanatic, nothing more. Why would he not? These rebels trespassed on Mina's forest and nearly destroyed it. That's reason enough for Farron to want to help us fight them. Dot, 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 dot. Chancellor Farron. I recall meeting him on a few different occasions. The spiritual leader of Teodros would have no reason not to fight those who would attempt to defile holy grounds. That's great then, with the Teodros army backing us up, we'll crush these rebels easily. We can head to Teodros tomorrow with a portion of our troops. Usail, I want you to remain here with the rest of the army. Be prepared to send reinforcements as needed. Yes, your highness. Now then, we should all rest up for the trip. Walter, what was that? Huh? What did I do? He sounded like some war-hungry hawk, in front of King Sebastian, no less. Hey, this is obviously the time for war. Of course I want to get it going already. Just listen to yourself. You sound excited to start a war. Both of you, calm down. This war is happening. There's no doubt about that. So we must do our best to finish it as quickly as possible. But we mustn't be too eager to start it, either. Yeah, exactly. Let's get it. Let's get in there and get it done. Oomph. Uh-oh, looks like someone just got proven wrong. Gonna cry again. Dot, 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 dot. Don't push him like that, Walter. Ah, oh, what? Don't take his side, Terrell. He totally, totally deserves it. No, he doesn't. Come on, you're with Lionel too? I'm with both you and Lionel. I can't stand seeing brothers act like this. Enlightened centrist Ava over here. Whatever. I'm so sorry for you, Your Highness. Don't be, I'm used to them, I know how to deal with them. Then that makes one of us. Your, you are name is Ava, correct? That's a typo. You weren't one of the mercenaries I hired. How did you end up with my brothers? Oh, uh, long story. I was just a thief and they caught me. Figured I should join them rather than getting killed. Uh, should be get killed there, but that's okay. I see, and you've been wanting- you've been watching over them throughout this journey, right? Um, y yeah I guess so. Thank you, Ava, that means a lot. 
Can I trust you to continue doing that for me? Uh, I'll do my best, Your Highness. As will I. Thank you, and please, just call me Terrell. A few days later. Ah, it feels good to be back here. This feeling, it's as if Mina is surrounding us in all her embrace. Yes, it's very soothing. This should be a good spot for us to rest. We can resume our march tomorrow. Hey, Walter, how do you feel about all of this right now? Huh? What do you mean? You just lost your home, and now you're gearing up for a war to take it back. Yet, you don't seem phased at all. Well, I'd be lying if I said I was totally okay with everything that's going on. But I'll destroy these rebels, I'm sure of it. As long as I know that, I can get by. You're really not worried? Of course not. I'm the strongest guy I know. There's no way I'd lose to a bunch of rebels. You and Lionel really are opposites, huh? He's been a lot more worried about how things have gone. It makes sense why you're always at odds with each other. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. We'll probably never be able to see eye to eye. Guess we're just incompatible. Oh. Now come on, let's get some sleep. R right. Mina, please watch over them. Teodro's capital. We're finally here. Hopefully Farron received the message I sent ahead. He should be out soon. Greetings all, I am High Chancellor Farron, and I welcome you to the Teodros capital. My name is Virgil, General of the Teodros army. And I'm Dante, Virgil's second in command. It is an honor to meet you, Your Grace. I thank you for meeting us on such short notice. Have you come to a decision? But of course, I will happily lend you my forces to fight these rebels. Those who would attack me in his forest are enemies of Teodros. Shall I move to the palace to discuss our plans in detail? Yes, yes, just follow me. You all can go. I'll stay with the troops. Very well, Zachary. Alright, let us review the plan. We will be splitting our forces evenly into two armies, both of which will depart from the capital by ship. One army will head to Askia, while the other to Behanzen. The armies will initially be comprised of Teodros troops but will later be bolstered by reinforcements from Mansa. The army going to Behanzen will receive fewer reinforcements, since they will also be tasked with finding King Ladon and linking up with his forces. That all sounds quite right. The only thing left is to decide who will lead the armies. I believe I know who should lead them, Your Grace. Oh, please, do tell. Sebastian and I discussed this on the trip here. Once the rebels are defeated, you will need to rebuild Askia and Behanzen and that will take quite a bit of planning and resources to do. We figured that we would stay in Mansa to prepare for reconstruction. General Luceo, General Virgil, and Sir Dante will need to stay put to manage reinforcements and defend the borders as well. This leaves two perfect candidates to lead the armies, Walter and Lionel. Walter will lead the army to take back Behanzen, while Lionel will head to Askia. They are both very capable in battle, and I know they will succeed. Whoa, really? What? You can't be serious. You want Walter of all people to lead an army? What's that supposed to mean? I've got tons of battle experience. I'll do great. But your tactical prowess is utterly non-existent. You'll probably lose half your army in the first battle. Well, if he does that, it's not his fault, it's my fault. <laughs> no way, I'll take back the hands in before you even make it to ask you. Please, calm yourselves. We made this decision deliberately. We trust you to lead these armies effectively. And you've sorely misplaced your trust if you think Walter can lead an army. Oh yeah? And what makes you more qualified than me? I'm more proficient in tactics than you'll ever be. I've studied for years. Yet you've barely even grasped the basics. You only have a fleeting knowledge of strategy thanks to me. Both of you beat. And how was I so successful in the la our last few battles, huh? Because I did all the strategizing, obviously. If it weren't for me, you would have died before we even left Askia. Dot, 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 dot. Ah, come here, you. Enough. Whoa. Terrell? Stop this nonsense at once. Have you forgotten who we are in the presence of? Look, I'm... Quiet. I've heard enough from both of you. Now, you two are going to be separated. You'll lead your armies and take back those countries. Have I made myself clear? Sh sure. Y yes, Terrell. 
and get out of here and start getting ready. Hmm? I'm sorry, I stopped paying attention. What happened? Did they leave already? Yes, Your Grace, they are just going to prepare themselves. Very well then, we should get our own troops in order as well. Virgil, Dante, let us attend to that. Yes, Your Grace. You got it. Terrell, I... It's alright, Ava. Please, just go follow my brothers. Okay. Terrell, are you okay? I've never seen you get so angry before. I... I snapped, Sebastian. I couldn't take it anymore. It just never stopped, even in front of the High Chancellor himself. Gee, I wonder if losing his country might also contribute slightly to his stress. And yet you sank to their level and yelled right along with them. <laughs> okay. What else was I supposed to do? Just sit there and do nothing? That's what I was doing while they went off to Bahanzen. And look how that turned out. That was beyond your control, Terrell, you know that. I'm just... I'm so worried about them, Sebastian. I'm afraid that if I'm not around, they'll get themselves into serious trouble. And yet I don't know what I should do to help them. I think what we're doing now is the best course of action. The three of you could all use some time apart. They deserve a break, while Walter and Lionel need to learn just how important they are to each other. They'll be alright. They have other people helping them on their way. Just as I will help you. Thank you, Sebastian. Now then, let's go find them. They must still be making preparations. Ah, everyone is here. Now then, princes, I trust you have your troops in order. Yes, we're all set. We just need to buy some spare supplies now. The Teodros Market should have everything you could possibly need to buy. Oh, and I do have a gift for both of you. Here, take these. Are these rocks? Not just any rocks, they're magical rocks, though the technical term is Waystone. You can send each other items and messages through these stones. Just don't try sending living things through them. Teleporting organic matter is an imperfect art, usually resulting in death. Uh, thanks, your holiness. I'll remain here to oversee the troops as they board the ships. Oh yeah, I'll go let them know they can start doing that now. I trust you two can supply your troops on your own? Uh, yes, Terrell. Then get to it. I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. You made Terrell have a meltdown. He deserves to have a break from the two of you after today. Hmph. It's not like it was my fault. Hey. It was the fault of both of you. Don't even try to argue it. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. <sighs> Let's just get shopping, okay? Uh, so this is a preps chapter, and believe it or not, I made battle preps before uh, this. So my plan for this chapter is to get as many people into the arena as possible every turn. So not just one arena battle, not just two, maybe not even just three, but as many as possible. So that'll be uh, fun and interesting. I do want to also get these villages. I mean, they're just lore, I'm sure, because they have brown roofs and not red ones, but seeing what they say uh, is always a treat in its own way. And of course the shops. This one has axes and stuff. This one... I think that one has axes and bows. This one has swords and lances. This vendor has tomes. This vendor has staves, ulneraries, elixirs, pure waters, torches, master seal, secret book, goddess icon. So, yeah. The uh, convoy for the preps armory has at the stat boosters too, so I'm not terribly worried about that, as you can see. They're here too, so it's not like I need to buy them here, but if I did, and I don't really want to buy stat boosters anyway, because like I said before, four extra points of, um, four extra points of hits aren't really going to do much for me. Anyway, Let's just jump in and see what happens.
Walter's Army, Walter, Ava, Bradley, Sean, Chase, Euphen, Shelby, Lydia, Dorian, Locritus, Ron, and Ciella. Lionel's Army, Lionel, Zachary, Colt, Hoff, Max, Sally, Marcy, Zoe, Vin, Victor, Cindy, Regis. If you need a reminder on how the armies are divided, just come talk to me. Greetings, Royal Princes of Askia. I am Dame Cindy, member of the esteemed Teodros Archery Corps. I will be joining you along with the rest of my squadron. Prince Lionel, we will be falling in with your army. I look forward to showing you the pride of Teodros. <sighs> What's got you so glum, mate? Oh, I'm just bored and drunk, but mostly bored. I had a chance to see the world, you know. I could have traveled in a royal convoy with the Askian princes. But I had to throw it all away because that Prince Walter was such a child. Now I'm stuck here with nothing to do but drink my sorrows away. The Askian princes, you say? Well, ain't that funny. They're the talk of the town right now. They are? What for? Boy, you must really be hammered if you haven't heard the news yet. Those princes are going to be leading two armies against the recent rebellions. One's headed to Askia, the other's headed to Panzen. Really? Have they left yet? Nope, they're stocking up right here in the city. I bet you could ask to join if you wanted to. But they're going to war, so you'd have to be crazy to want to go with them. Perfect, I have to go find them. Hey, wait. Damn fool didn't pay for his drink. So we got some units. Let's check out the first one. Cindy. Level 10 bow armor. She's got a reflex bow. 1-2 range, 100 hit, 8 might, 6 weight. She's also got a longbow. Not really sure what to make of her yet. She has 12 strength, 7 magic, 12 skill, 10 speed, 11 luck, 14 defense, 2 res, and 5 move. Her growths are 40% strength, 35% magic, 50% skill, 30% speed, 35% luck, 45% defense, 15% resistance, 75% HP. And then, well, Regis is a green unit, but Walter can talk to him. Regis is a level 1 Sage, with Maelstrom, a 3 to 15 range tome, long range, can't crit. He's also got Fire Tome, Heal Staff, and a Blue Gem. So that's good. I'd like to recruit him in this chapter because uh, I can sell that really fast. He's got a C rank in Staves, C rank in Light, and B rank in Anima. His stats are 0 Strength, 16 Magic, 12 Skill, 11 Speed, 3 Luck, 6 Defense, 10 Resistance, 6 Move. And his... I can't see growth rates of uh, green units. So... Okay, so... Uh... I started to turn one, and then Visual Boy Advance um, crashed for some reason, so I'm starting over, and I'm going to go ahead and actually change some things around here. Uh, I do want to get Regis as fast as possible, so I'm going to stick Dorian there, and then save again, and then fight. Uh, yeah. Walter's Army, Walter, Ava, Bradley, Sean, Chase, Euphon, Shelby, Lydia, Dorian, Locritus, Ron, and Cielo. Lionel's Army. We've already seen this, so I'm going to just skip all that and edit things in post. So, I kind of want to get to Regis turn one, so all I'm going to do is put Walter here. Play for Walter. And, oops, talk to Walter. Or talk to Regis. Aha, there you are, Prince Walter. Uh, who are you, and why do you smell so bad? I'm Regis the Great Sage, and I have been drinking a lot. Actually, ignore what I just said. I am totally sober. Uh-huh, what do you want? Originally, I was hired to protect you as a mercenary, but I dropped that job. But it's been so boring around here, and I want some spice in my life. Let me join your army so I can have some fun. What do you say? Hmm, alright, sure. You can join Lionel's army. You could use another mage. Yes, thank you. Hope you like dealing with that drunkard, Lionel. Wait there. Okay, so now we can check out Regis's growths. 
0 strength, 75 magic, 40 skill, 20 speed, 10 luck, 15 defense, 30 resistance, 70 HP. A wandering sage who wishes to explore the world, exuberance. So, I do think that sending Regis this way would be ideal. We can try again with uh, Ava here. Take her into the arena. 940 gold, kind of risky, but let's see what happens. We have a state anyway. This flux dude is pretty thick. There's your prize, 1880 gold. We're gonna rescue her. And take and drop. And use Zoe to uh, mend her up. HP, strength, speed, lock, resistance. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 630 gold? Save and yes. Sage with fire. Let's try that. All's well that ends well, right? Uh, we'll just put you here. And use Colt to take drop you. And then bring in you to mend up Max. And I'll just send other people towards the arena, like, uh, well, Vin and Zoe have a support. Uh, Vin, you're getting a little close there. Well, this is awkward. Sorry. You don't have to hover over me like that, I can look after myself. I just want to protect you. Y you still can, but you don't have to constantly worry about me either. As long as you're safe, that's what matters to me. I, I see. Well, I don't think I need any protection at the moment, so you can go elsewhere. Okay. He's been like this since we first met in Askia. No, I mustn't humor him. I am independent. I don't need him to watch over me, even if it feels nice. Wow, okay. Let's send you this way. They're gonna fight, probably. Let's send you to this house. Let's send you to this house. Our city is the center of religion in Abril, and Chancellor Farron leads us in our prayers. Allow me to tell you a bit about our beliefs. Centuries ago, before the War of the Kings, War of Kings, when Ibril was awash in chaos and darkness, God sent four divine messengers down from the heavens to unify the people. Their weapons were crafted from stars, and their very presence rallied people to order. But they still held hatred for one another in their hearts, and the messengers could not stop the ensuing war. It was only thanks to the sacrifice of the immortal saint Mina that the war ended. Today we read from the writings of the divine messengers for our prayers. Okay. Um... I kind of want to send Marcy into the arena. That... I don't think she can win 830. She can't, definitely can't win 940. 860. No. 880. No. Give me 6 or 7 something. 900. No. Oh my goodness. Let's just state and do this. Of course, she's not going to win this. Why would she? Six ninety, that's more like it. Oh, Pegasus Knight. I both do the same amount of damage, but Okay, that worked out. Thirteen eighty. It's almost level ten, which means I can promote her soon. Uh no one else can really rescue her, so.
we'll just... We're gonna keep Cielo nearby for rescue dropping purposes, but not too close. We don't need to clutter everything. Aquatus should go here. Isn't it amazing that descendants of the original four kings still live today? Chancellor Farron taught us that those kings are divine messengers from God. So that must mean their descendants have divine blood in them. I can't imagine what I'd do if I met one of those descendants. They're like living saints. Hmm. Interesting. We'll send Sally towards that house next. And Yufin. Well, we have four scrub units already going to houses, so they can just go back to their respective shops. Yufin, we can try to get you some help at the arena, I guess. Okay. Get a save state. Um, we already talked to those guys, so we'll just camp by these places here. We'll wait until the last turn to buy stuff. Oh, Virgil, isn't he the most amazing man you've ever seen? Such a paragon of knighthood. It's no wonder he's earned his title of the Silver Sentinel. I wish I could meet him one day and have him cradle me in his big, strong arms. <sighs> that would be the best. Well, I read that out loud. Let's go into the arena now and kill ourselves. Would you like to wager 730 gold? Not really, but let's give it a try. Maybe Marcy will dodge. Yeah, she did it. Good job. Level 10 Marcy, go. 1460 gold. I'm gonna pull her out with Hoff. Take drop with Zachary. Heal with, with uh, Zoe. I think I'm going to pull Hoff out with Bradley and just step aside so that we can put someone there. Uh, I don't know who, though. Hmm. We could run a lot of people through the gauntlet. I don't want to run any mounted units through, though, because, um, reasons. Rescue chopping reasons. Let's get Walter closer. Okay, Victor, it's your time to shine. 690 gold, sure. Iron Lance, okay. HP, skill, luck, defense. So you want A, here's your prize, 1380 gold. We'll just pull you out now. And I guess we could... Mm, let's just take drop with Walter. We can, now we can't actually do that. Uh, how about Cielo? Take drop. Easy. I'm gonna go over here, go to the armory. Sell that blue gem. Alright, Cindy. Let's see what you can do. Interesting units. You can take damage, can dish out damage. You might get an Orion's Bolt soon, Cindy. Um, well, I'm guessing Colt can rescue her. If I wait there, it's fine. Um, 
Let's just put you over here for a second. I don't have to heal anybody yet. We just wait. And... Let's send in Vin. 10, let's give it a try. Probably not a good, good thing. Oh, zero hit. Oh, does his main gosh boost affect him in the arena? This is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. A man could exploit this if he was so inclined. HP and luck. Uh, probably have to get you out with You. We're not going to be able to gra grab uh, either of these yet, but that's okay because we just. This means we have room for others. Like Shelby, you got your Munio equipped. Good boy. Remember down with a silver sword. You can do it. Well, maybe not. We'll see. You did it. Here's your prize: eighteen twenty gold. support Bradley. Euphin, how have you been faring? I'm super excited. This job's given me tons of bad guys to kill. Euphin, what did I say before? Don't be excited to kill people. Yes, exactly. But the people we're fighting are bad guys. Not necessarily. Ill people have reasons for why they do the things they do. Well, yeah, but they're probably evil reasons. I wouldn't say that. From their perspective, they must believe we are the bad guys, and that they are the good guys. But they're just wrong, then. Things aren't so black and white, Euphin, even if we wish it were so. Even common thieves have reasons for why they steal. Um, Bradley, are you okay? What, yes, I'm fine. Okay, you just got kind of distant all of a sudden. Uh, sorry about that, I'll be going then. You seem sad about something. How weird and mysterious. I'll keep Lionel nearby. Maybe he'll get an arena run. I'll keep Ava nearby as well. Alright, so we got two more house. Oh, we got one more house to visit, actually. Oops. We'll just do this. Scripture tells us that Saint Mina was an incredible woman when she was alive. She would travel everywhere, healing the sick and wounded. It's no wonder King Teodros fell for her. Even if she was a mortal and he was a messenger from God. And it was her sacrifice that ended the War of Kings so many years ago. Even in death, she can create miracles, even with that barrier over the forest. It's such a shame that she and King Teodros never had any children. Teodros is the only country not to have a royal bloodline because of that. But I guess saints have to stay all pure and chaste and stuff. Let's stick Shelby here and heal. Actually, a mend would be better. Um, hmm. Alright, Walter, it's your turn, I guess. Home City Arena, would you like to wait to 760? Sure. Yeah, you get that random arena dude. HP, strength, skill, defense. Neat. Alright, we gotta start dropping people now. So you get dropped in there. You can drop that guy there. And Bradley, you can just drop... Um, you can just stay there and drop somebody. There you go. Now... We want to rescue Walter. And we can't... Uh, Walter's con is kind of high, so probably would need Sean to do that. Uh... Let's try Euphin. Let's wager 740. Yes. Soldier with an iron lance. Okay.
Here's your prize, 1480 gold. Then we're gonna pull Yufen out. Take drop. Ron can wait there. You can wait there. You can move towards that armory. Uh can't get him there. Can't get him there, but won't be able to move off. Get her there, but won't be able to move off. Let's play for Cindy. I think Cindy is good. Six sixty. That's kind of low, but okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's all fine. Cindy's nearly dead, but she got us some honey, so it's okay. Everything all's well that ends well, you know? Speaking of nearly dead, let's make sure that you're healed up. Let's move you closer. I think we're gonna just stick Lionel out of the crowd here. Ava could hang her out still. Okay then, let's see. Run Cindy through the arena once more, I guess. 680? Sure, let's try that. Thirteen sixty gold. Uh, let's heal you up. Actually, let's not stand there. Let's heal you with physic from here. And then get you out of there. We'll just go here. Um... Actually, here is just fine. And then take drop. I think next I want to put Shelby again into the, into the ring. Major 920? Sure, let's give it a try. Steel Axe Fighter. This'll be fine. There we go. HP, luck, defense, resistance. So you won, eh? Here's your prize, 1840 gold. Uh, okay, um... Getting a little bit cluttered here, but what I could do is just... Hmm... Yeah, I can do this. Give him one more run. It's a wager 990. Yeah, sure. Mage of Thimblevator. Oh boy, this'll be easy. Okay, good. Now, to uh, fix this, we're gonna get Dorian, take drop him, and then I'm gonna rescue Shelby, get him over here. You can just take drop Shelby with somebody. And then let's give Vin another run. 800 gold, sure. Iron Lance, no problem. Here's your prize, 1600 gold. Let's get Vin out. Have Walter take drop him. See if we can get Victor some more experience here. 6.30, sure, that's fine. Should be easy. Twelve hundred sixty gold. Alright. No one really needs healing, so if we can just rescue Victor like so, wait there. 
take drop him and get Ava through the ring next. Welcome to the arena. 670 gold? Yes. Archer with an iron bow, okay. Goodbye, Archer with an iron bow. Thirteen magic, seventeen speed, eighteen reds. That's about it. We can wait until the next turn. Or you can just heal Ava now. And I'm gonna get Locritus over here and put Lionel here instead. Move Sally there. Move you there. Kalan can wait there. Hoff can wait there. That's it. Last turn is the shopping turn. So. We'll open with Ava at the arena. The 80 gold, sure. out of the way once and for all. I'm gonna just rescue you. Don't need to drop anybody in this turn, because it's the last one. I guess Locritus can go next. Seven ten, sure. Brigand with an iron axe, you'll probably die. Oh you did you killed him. Wow, good job. And pull you out now. And, uh. Move Shelby over here. Play for Shelby. Shelby's good at arenaing. A thousand gold. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, this is free money. Two thousand gold. Nice. Let's pull you out now. Uh, can't put Vin in. Could put Walter. Walter's good at arena stuff. Yufin's kind of close to a level. 900 gold. I guess it's worth a try. Probably will die, but... Ah, oh, you got him. Good job. out. They're not in range. You are. You are. You are. Uh, Victor, why don't you give it another try? Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 850 gold? Yes. Iron sword. That's not good. I lost me? No way. No, you didn't, Walt. Victor, it's fine. I'm getting axe people confused. It's okay, though. 620 golds, maybe you can do this. Oh, it's still an Iron Sword guy. Good luck, buddy. I lost me? No way. Hey, well. Not sure what to tell you, man. You're not the best unit. 610, Iron Lance. Maybe you can kill this guy. There you go. It only took seven tries. Now we're gonna get you out of there. And, um... Marcy could get the last one, I guess. 7.30. Sure. Lavin Rider with an Iron Lance. This isn't good. Mom, Patty, I didn't train hard enough. I know, that's why I'm trying to get you more training here. 9.80. That's not gonna go well. Mom, Patty, I didn't train hard enough. I know. I'm working on it. Stop complaining. Is that a 90 gold? Pyre with an iron axe. That's not gonna go well. Oh, it went well. 1580 gold. Okay, well. 
No more fooling around, it's time to shop. Oh boy, so, hmm. I feel like this is gonna be a heck of a chapter. Heck of the next few chapters if we're getting preps. We're probably not gonna see shops anytime soon, so we should definitely get 1-2 range. This hack loves 1-2 range enemies. Definitely get a Steel Axe. Definitely get... Mm, definitely get a Silver Axe. Definitely get a Hammer. For those immovable Night Walls. Eh, I don't need a Sword Reaver that badly. If we could use an Iron Bow... Not really. Um... Silver bow. Can't go wrong with one silver bow. Uh, short bows I kind of like. Let's get two of those. Let's get an extra steel bow. And an extra iron bow. And a couple extra iron axes. Then, over here, let's get two extra heal staves, an extra mend, let's get a torch, let's get two torches actually, just in case. Uh, we don't need any of these things. I'm gonna get a second... I actually have two restores already, so I don't want to do that. Uh... Second barrier wouldn't be bad. I'll be that for that shop. Over here. Uh, tomes are kind of bad in this game. Um, let's get Divine. Shine. Nosferatu. Thunder. Thunder again. That should be okay. And then here. Let's get a Silver Sword. An Armor Slayer. Zenbato. Silver Lance. Like three Javelins. We're good on those. Steel Lance. Two Iron Lances. Steel Sword. That should do it. You have enough weaponry to last us a while. Uh, any supports we can get? right now. I... It's probably fine, right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I think we're good to go. So, have the two of you finished stocking up? Yeah, I think so. All your troops should be organized as well. Yep, I saw it at that. Now then, perhaps the two of you should say goodbye? You won't be seeing each other for a long time, after all. 
Dot 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 dot. Ah, Walter, wait. Dot 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 dot. Hmm, is something the matter with him? Ah, <sighs> yes, you could say that. I suppose we should be off as well. We must return to Mansa and begin planning the reconstruction effort. Thank you for aiding us, Your Grace. I hope our soldiers will be all right under their command. Were it my choice, I would have I would have had us lead those armies. Eh, it'll probably be all right. They've kind of got the odds stacked in their favor. I doubt those rebels are going to put up that much of a fight. And our soldiers are pretty damn strong, after all. The worst that happens is those princes get themselves killed. I'd be okay with that. Dante, you mustn't say such a thing. Words like that could get you killed. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's go get some drinks. It's been a long day. I agree, but you're paying this time. What? I paid last time. You won't fool me with that again. You're paying. Eh, fine. You got me. Hmm? Did they say something? Ah, oh, well. They're gone now, it seems. Time to go check on my deliveries. At night. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, you can't sleep? I'm just not used to being on a ship, is all. Come on, don't give me that. I know that's not the real reason. I should really stop trying to hide things from you. Then talk to me, it'll make you feel better. Ah, uh, okay. I... Seeing Tyrell get so mad like that, I've never seen him that way before. And it was because of me and Lionel. It looks like all those years of you two acting out finally made him snap. He trusted us with these, these armies, and we responded like that. He shouldn't have even thought of doing this. Well, that wasn't actually his idea. What? Wait, did you...? Yeah, I gave him the idea. Why did you do that? Because the three of you need some time apart. Maybe once this is all over, you'll learn to appreciate each other more. Well, I guess it's alright. You came up with the idea after all. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? Uh huh? Well, well, I mean, you're smart and stuff, so it'll probably work. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. I'm sure you'll learn a lot from all this by the end. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? Uh huh? Well, I mean. Ha ha ha, guess you can't take what you dish out, eh? <laughs> I guess so. Now come on, let's get some rest. It's gonna be a long boat ride. Yeah, don't remind me. I really never have been on a ship before. I hope I don't get seasick when I try going to bed. I've got a bunch of herbs and sedatives that might help with that. If you start feeling queasy, just give me a shout. Oh, sweet, thanks. Good night, Ava. Walter, I'll make sure things go okay. That was, uh, the intermission. I think I made a lot of money on that chapter, and I spent a lot of money. But I think it was worth it, so... Yeah, thank you for watching, and have a good one.